And all this means most students by fourth grade understand that, okay, multiplication, 73 times 47, this is like saying 73 groups of 47, or 47 groups of 73. Either way, I'm going to get the same answer. And a lot of times in the strategy, people might choose the larger factor and say, okay, well, I have to find fewer of those, so I'm going to start there. So the key to the strategy is using what you know um, without having to go, you know, start with like 73 and then skip to count to 146 and, you know, 47 times. Students know that skip counting is very inefficient at this point when they're doing, you know, double digit by double digit or, or higher multiplication problems. So one thing that they might do is, okay, well, I don't know 73 times 40 or what have you, but I do know, okay, 73 times 10 is 730. And, you know, hopefully at this point they might do something like, well, I know 73 times 2 is 146. And we've talked a lot about multiplying by, you know, multiples of 10. And the pattern they start to see is, okay, if I, any zeros I add to any of my factors, I'm also adding that zero to my to the product because for example 73 times 2 is 146 20 is 10 times more than 2 so my answer is going to have to be 10 times more than the original so that's a handy way that a lot of people have used in the past and now when I look at the clustering so far I have found 30 73's I need 17 more so again using what they know maybe they'll do another 10 because they know that one So now we've got 40 of them, and now they might use what they know about 10. Okay, so 73 times 5, 5 is half of 10, so half of 730 is 300, half of 700 is 350, half of 30 is 15, so we've got 365. And then we'll do 73 times 2 is 146, so when I look, I've now got 47 73s, but now they've got to add up all of these numbers, so um, which I've done over here already to spare us the time. This is not the most efficient strategy. It's more efficient than skip counting, but the answer would be 3,431, and this would be even worse if someone, okay, 730, or 73 times 10 plus 73 times 10, so here's the 40 73s. And then here's the five seventy threes, and then two more. Now this this definitely shows that they understand multiplication, but again, by fourth grade, we're looking for more efficient strategies. So it's time to move on from the crazy amount of work for one problem, and that's what the other strategies are meant for.